Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Watch Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I am here to do your reading for Friday, June 7th, 2019. Now the thing is this, time spirals, it goes like this. And what it means for energy is that you can connect with this reading when I'm publishing it or two years after I've published it. It means that because time is not linear, you could come upon me when you are meant to. So the names, the dates, the genders, the signs, the ages, all those sorts of specifics, you can just fudge or blur. And you know, the energy is what we're zooming in on. So take everything as it resonates and you will intuitively know inside what's resonating and what's not resonating. I have a handyman over so you'll hear <laughs> You'll hear him working. Um, so, you know, pardon that. Um, I'm just going to really quickly tell you the downloads that I got. Oh, thank you so much for all of your communication. I love reading your emails and your messages. They're so well thought out and they're, you're, you're communicating with me. This is the thing, if you feel connected with me, you absolutely are. And I'm happy that we're connected and I'm happy that we've met and I'm happy to be channeling the energies and the messages for you. And so, you know, the messages that I'm getting, you're expressing yourself really matching how, you know, you're very genuine and authentic and it's really, you know, it matches the way I'm communicating with you. So it's a really nice, it's a really nice connection that we have. And I thank you for sharing every, everything that you choose to share with me. I am very grateful for that communication and thank you. I read everything and I can't always respond. I'm, you know, I'm really short on time these days, but I'm setting up a better system so that I can maybe do, you know, readings for you guys and finish the monthly reading. So, and do my business and do everything else and write screenplays. So I'm still, you know, trying to get it all in good balance. Okay. So first I want to tell you the downloads, the downloads that I am getting before I do the cards. I usually wait to be prompted by the cards, but what I did yesterday when I told you about my father and about all that stuff, all the advice for the Divine Masculine, I actually channeled all of that over the weekend. And I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you, I just channeled it and I didn't tell you. I was like, oh, I'm not going to talk about that. Ugh, so private, I'm not going to talk about it. But it came out anyway. It needed to come out. It was wanting to come out and through those cards. And then I just, you know, have to go with the flow. I'm here for, for you guys. So um, the downloads today. Oh, dear God. Hold on. They cannot possibly cut me off right now. They cannot. Oh, okay. <sighs> Freaked me out. So something feels off. Something felt off all day today and it's environmental. So this is either you or the other person or another person in your life. And I speak very heteronormatively. It's just for the sake of ease of understanding. So you or someone around you is just feeling the environment. I mean, all day I felt my environment was just off. Where I'm living, the city I'm in, and what I'm doing all day every day. Or anything I'm doing every day. It's just off. It just felt off off and I couldn't pin it down. I couldn't zero in on it. It just all felt off. So that's going to resonate for someone. The other thing I channeled earlier today, very early today, I saw the, the words paying attention. Take it as it resonates. It's not, it's not the instruction to pay attention. It's not that. It, it was, it's paying attention with the ING. So I don't know if that means someone's paying attention. I don't know if you're paying. I have no idea what that means or how it resonates, but I just wanted to get those two things out. I was also channeling Sydney Green Street earlier today. <laughs> so if you're watching the Maltese Falcon or Casablanca, I mean, <laughs> I like talking to men who like to talk. <laughs> are we, Peter? Are we? Rick, save me, save me, hide me, Rick. Okay, sorry. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Great start, everybody. Capricorn males in the house. So this is a man who saves for a rainy day. You know, very practical, very practical-minded. He wants to make sure everything makes sense in the practical, you know, in the physical realm. 
And, you know, very traditionally the Capricorn male does not have to be Capricorn male. It could also be Virgo male, Taurian male, or any other male or female in the Zodiac. But this energy, whoever this is, the person that this is, they're channeling this energy. So that's why I say fudge the ages, the genders, and the signs and the times. Because, you know, you could be finding this video in 2021 and it'll like resonate bullseye. So this person is just very practical, very down to doesn't have to be down to earth. They could also just be materialistic. Could be the owner of a business. They just told me too long on King of Pentacles, Natalie. Okay. I don't question these things. Oh. Ooh. Seven of Swords. We'll see what how this will be confirmed either way. But this is either someone getting away with something or being deceptive or getting away with being deceptive. Or it's someone using strategy. Or it's someone using common sense. Okay? Now, remember, we don't make any judgments on the Watch Natalie channel. Our vibration is that we would rather understand than judge. So... We're not saying that this is good or this is bad because sometimes you need to get something or do something or accomplish an objective with a strategy that includes indirect measures or indirect, you know, formats. And that's exactly what this is. So it could be this person, this king of pentacles going about achieving their, their ends in not always less than honest, but mm, definitely not clear and in front and transparent. <gasps> I just dropped all the cards and the, oh, oh God, the only cards that are facing up are three cards. This is fucking crazy. These are the three cards, the only three cards. I just, all of them. I mean like a mic drop. Did you, you probably heard that on the mic. The only three cards that are facing up the Nine of Pentacles, the Star, and the World. Interesting that the Nine of Pentacles... Oh, how creepy. I just got like the chills. Oh, God. Interesting that the Nine of Pentacles is coming up because this this dress is my... Um, see? I love this dress. It's my, my single girl dress. It's my first date dress. It's... I mean, I, I mean, when I was going on first dates, you know, this was my first date dress. I would go out and it has this cute little, you know, this little side thing right there. And I just feel really, you know, I just feel really great in this dress. And so it's like, I think of it, I was thinking about it when I put it on today. I thought, I'm going to go on like it's a first date, like, um, you know, first date, but it's a tarot video, <laughs> not an actual first date. And so... This energy, this this is like the single person. This is an independent individual. This is someone who is just very happy with themselves, with their lives. If you can see, this is the queen of pentacles before she gets married. Look at how beautiful she is. And she has like very different clothing. She has a different pattern on her robes. You know, she doesn't look like, you know, every other female in the tarot deck she's specific she's an individual and she has all the wealth behind her she has her home she has her family she has you know she's taken a falconry she has her hobbies she has her little busy you know everything she's got her hand on a pentacle she has a little snail right here and she's just very independent and happy being independent she's in singlehood in a very successful balanced way we also have The world came out separate and then these two came out together. So this this is the star. This is his star. This is the inspiration. This is the person who's, dare I say, inspiring the divine masculine. Okay, is this the story that's, that's continuing? And she's just, she's sparkling so bright in her singlehood. It's like, We've channeled that he's watching her, right? That he's like watching her, waiting to come in, free, you know, tweaking himself out in the mind of when and how to come in and approach her. And it's like, I mean, she's just really shining bright all on her own in as a single female. And it's like he's really respecting her. It's like her self-respect makes her much more attractive, her integrity and the way she treats herself, her treating herself so well is even more inspiring 
to others and to him or this other counterpart person. Remember, you guys are already connected on the 5D. So whether I'm talking to you or the cross watch or whoever, you're, it's, you're still connected. So anything you're getting through me, any downloads, it, awakenings that you're getting through me or these videos or what you're reading is going up in the 5D and going over and connecting with your counterpart. That's why you have to send this kind of energy over. Or just exude this energy naturally so that you will attract someone who's like... <sighs> but she's just inspiring. I mean, if you look at this star card, this water that's you know, that she's pouring onto the ground and then the subconscious pool, this stream goes through other cards. It's in the Empress, it's in the High Priestess, it's the consistent stream of consciousness. And she's she is stardust. The stars behind her, it's like they fall into her skin and she just like glows. You know, she glows for this counterpart. It's when he's when this other person is observing her, even up close, he's just looking at her like Oh my gosh, she's glowing. Oh, look at her glow. She's a star. You know, he's the other person's just like, oh my god. And it's 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 the single female. She's single and it's it's the empowerment and the everything about her as an individual, as an individual and how she moves through the world on her own as an alone person is very inspiring to this romantic interest. Very very inspiring. The self-respect, the artistry. I used to talk about um, lifestyle and how you move through the world as your your artistry, like your form of art and your own way of life. You know, you develop your own way of life. It's your own. Every single person designs their own art of living. There's an art of living and there's an art of dying. And this person right here, this feminine, has her own art of living. How she moves through this world through her own perspective and how she makes up her mind about everything here is incredibly inspiring to this other person. And of course we have the world. The ending of a major cycle, a karmic cycle, reward for all of the suffering, all of the closing out of accounts, major travel, long distance travel. This really resonates with me with that thing I downloaded earlier. I mean, all day it just felt off. Everything I was visually seeing in front of me, like I should be looking at something different. I don't know how to, like Truman show off. How he's going through the world, the world, and he's just looking around like there is something off. And I don't know what it is. And then you see the 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 elevator get, you know, move and there's like craft and you know P PAs and he's, and he's like and it's off. I mean, all day today I just felt like I wasn't here. And it's different than the other energy that I had been feeling earlier in the month about how I my energy just doesn't feel here. It's different than that. Something's off. Just something just fell off. I don't know what it, I can't pin it down. But this I would expect for some of you travel in the cards ha 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 in the cards no no <laughs> in the cards but for real some of you travels involved here world travel long distance travel or big travel traveling for something important you could even be a single female or single feminine or single person who travels or needs to travel or will be traveling soon or you take a new job and it has to do with you traveling a lot but the world is definitely travel and i'm getting that a lot right now with this card there's other things to emphasize but for right now it's travel with the world card Definitely closing out major cycles of completion. Something's really fertile too. Because when something closes out, you get to level up. You level, there's a leveling up happening in the 5D trickling down into the 3D reality. The first card I always feel is like a, like a veil, like a gel on a light for the rest of what the light shines on. So if that's a red gel, everything will be, have a red cast to it. That King of Pentacles is very hard. It's very solid. It's a solid person. It's a solid commitment. It's a solid offer. It's a solid plane ticket. It's something just very solid. So I feel like these karmic rewards that we can expect from this world card are very solid. It's very divinely ordained. I mean, when you before you incarnated into this um, flesh suit, 
into this, you know, 3D body, you had a little list, little karmic list, you know, so everything that I've been through from the beginning of my life till now, that's karma that I paid on. Okay, I've, I've seen my, I've been my past lives. I've, I've had past life regressions. I know what I did. I know what I did. So I don't feel sorry for myself. I had a lot of karma to pay on. I paid on it. I closed out those accounts. And it's because I put it off for too long and too many lifetimes before. So I had to really fucking catch up now. That's why it was just so hard and intense. And I feel like Capricorns. It's like you realize how strong you are. That's part of it. You have to really realize how strong you are. And you don't understand that until you go through things and survive things with the right attitude, with your, your sanity, with, you know, without sacrificing your personality or your, your whatever. Okay, so this is a major closing out of accounts. It's the karmic reward for closing out those accounts as well. Let's see what else we've got. Let's see. Let me just take a little break. It was really freaky the way all of those cards just like, seriously, like just, they just exploded right in front of me. And then only those three cards, very clear that those are the ones. Hold on here. Give me a second. He's back at it. He's back at it. This person, this counterpart, he's coming up. So yesterday, he came up with that, thank you, double dutch, that double dutch, you know, example that I gave about how he's like, oh, 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 no, never mind, I'm not going to do it, never mind, it's okay. He's now, it's, mm, his energy is starting to shift. Now he's showing up as incredibly solid, incredibly solid, coming in with a real offer, and it look, it's looking like he's going to do it. Not deceptively. Remember, he wants to do it when you don't see it coming. He wants it to be a surprise. And this is how he's going to do it. He's going to do something kind of like sneaky or kind of like over here or look what's going on over here. What, what's, a, what's going on over here? You know, like distracting. He's, he's like a distraction. Look at him. Look, he's moving away from the tents even. See these tents? These tents tell me that there's something going on. There's like a, a concert or a event or there's something going on over here. And when everyone's it's looking, wow, I've never seen this before. They're really decorated. See, there's something going on over here. And our, our character in the foreground is getting away with it while everyone else is distracted. The King of Peace showing up as the King of Pentacles, very serious, and he wants you to be distracted. Got that right before we got this. He wants the single female distracted. Hmm. Some of you getting married. Okay, look. Look what we got. We got counterparts. Wow. This could be Capricorn, Capricorn, or Earth sign, Earth sign. Wow, you two are like the power couple to the max. And this is like an earthly power couple. This is a couple that are going to do things in the physical 3D reality. So yesterday we got the Hierophant and the High Priestess very behind the scenes. Very esoteric, very veiled in mysteries. These counterparts showing up just a few cards away from each other, they're very public. They're v in the public, they are collaborators, they are business partners. They, I love seeing those couples that run their own businesses. It's just the sweetest thing in the fucking world. It is just so romantic to me a little printing shop or a little you know whatever it is it's like 
um, you know, she does the accounting and he does the, you know, it's just really sweet. But that's who they are publicly. In the public, they are working together. They are stacking the pentacles. They are manifesting pentacles all day long. All day long. All day long. Pentacle, pentacle, pentacles. And if you see, she's got the red and the white robes surrounded by the roses she's balanced between thought and desire she makes decisions that are practical and if you look in his little icon his robes are he his he's got the taurian little bulls up there the castle in the back <sighs> looking at that they're both staring at the <laughs> Not to say that they're both materialistic, but they both know what they're doing in business. Even if they were to ever disagree, they would never disagree out of spite and they would never they would never do anything to to jeopardize the business. And it's because they're working together to make the world better. I really get like, a, I know it looks super materialistic, but the energy of money and wealth is that it's going to multiply when you really put it towards something that's good for the earth, the planet, humanity. And it's like they crack that. They crack it wide open. They could even be the first in on something. They could hit like a nerve with the public is what I'm feeling. Let me get some, because the world is also a bit of a public card. It's also a bit of like a, you know, exposure. So publicly, these people are, are getting exposure for, for their work that they're doing. For the work that they're doing. Hmm. Wow. Whoa, I didn't even see it flip. I didn't even see it flip. I wonder when it flipped. Get out of here. I just looked down and it... I wonder if you guys saw when it flipped. Because I didn't see when this flipped. Sorry. Nine of Cups. Getting everything you ever wanted. Completely self-satisfied. Holy cow. Okay. Let me put this together for you guys. Let me just put this together for you. Okay. We start with a single female. She's, this is her state when he finds her, when he comes in, when he makes the offer, when he makes the approach, whatever it is. She is so into just, that's what it was. That phrase, living your best life. That phrase that people say, I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. I think of Sydney Greenstreet. I don't know why I just see Sydney Greenstreet. He's like a big man. <laughs> <laughs> are we Peter? Are we? I mean, it's like, the, <laughs> but in Casablanca, he has this like fly swatter and he's just like living his best life. Like when I think of that phrase, especially like today, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I see Sydney Green Street like a lot today. Anyway, she's living her best life. She's living her best life. Okay. She's just keeping her, her little spark aflame. And that's what attracts the moth. The counterpart is the moth. The masculine is the moth. Like a moth to a flame. You got to burn bright to attract. <gasps> like sand. Young woman, share your fire with me. My heart is cold. My soul is free. I am a stranger in your land. Wandering man. Call me sand. I never said I was a singer. I said I was a genius screenwriter and an actor. Did not say I was a singer. And then Nancy Sinatra goes, Oh, sir, my fire is very small. It will not warm thy heart at all. How does it go? But thee may take me by the hand. Wandering man, I'll call thee sand. Sand. Okay, listen to that song. Lee Hazelwood and Nancy Sinatra. It keeps him warm and then the fire grows larger. And he, it's, a, listen to the song. Let's, let's, I'll, oh, I have to make that playlist. I forgot. I'm going to make a playlist of the songs that I channel. Cause, and, cause I just forget after, after I do a, a reading, I like forget everything. 
I mean, except yesterday, I remember that I talked about my dad. But aside from that, I had to go back and watch what the first part of that reading was and, and like re like absorb some of that because a lot of times I just I'm in my I'm in a different zone. OK. Moth. That's right. Moth to a flame. So you got to burn, baby, burn. You got to be the star. You have to be your own shining bright like a diamond star to attract that moth. And ladies, I know you're getting impatient. I felt it today. Oh my God, I felt you divine feminine today. I know because it was not me. I knew the difference. I felt today. I heard it in my head. I heard, what the fuck? Where's my check? Where's my man? Where's my house? Where's my... I felt this like, and I heard it and I saw it and it was so funny. I felt like an air sign though, like an air fire sign female doing that. And I know that's not me because honestly, my ego, oh man, my ego would not, my ego does not, Natalie's ego does not allow those kinds of thoughts to take place. Let me just say that, okay? I'm very Capricornian. I feel like, honestly... To be very honest, like if, I, if my guy or my boyfriend or whatever came to me with like a credit card with my name on it, God, break my heart. That would hurt. I wouldn't be able to look at him. I would be like, oh my God, this is so awkward. It's so emasculating, you know? It's just so... Thank you, no. You put that away. You keep that to yourself, you know? Like, thank you. The thought, it's a thought that counts anyway. So thank you, no. No. I'm okay. I will drive around in my old ass Beamer. Even if he's a multi-millionaire, I will drive around. I'll be good for you. I'm so happy for you. And see, we multiply. We multiply. If you're bad, I'll make you good. If you're good, I'll make you great. And if you're great, I'll make you an American hero. That's what I will do. I will multiply. I will turn him into, I will add value. I will multiply whatever he already has going on. Okay. And that's separate from what I have going on. Like your money is your money. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. It does not mean I am entitled to it. it does not mean it's my, and none, no, 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 okay, honestly, I will, I would, even if he's a multi-millionaire, I would love to just keep driving in my little beat up Beamer because I am saving my money for my film and my things and my club and my thing going on, and I could still, you know, put put it into his mansion gates and park and go in and have dinner leave go home you know like totally cool i mean he might think i'm fucking ridiculous like natalie we need to get you into a safer vehicle and i'd be like thank you so much it's truly the thought that counts very sweet thank you for that i am perfectly happy driving something i can afford this is what i can afford i got that with my chicago med money okay even though i ended up on the cutting room floor no big deal it's okay but I earned that money and I bought it and we're, that's what I'm driving now. Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's just, and he'd probably be like, and just do what he's going to do anyway. That's just, a guy that's with me is going to have to see, he'll probably see me as a big brat, to be honest, like a big brat. And just do what he's going to do. And like, I wouldn't defy him. Like, I'm not going to go start like any fights or anything. I don't want to fight about it, anything. You know, but my money's my money. His money's his money. Like, what's, you know, so I felt that's how I knew that this wasn't me, that this is someone else, that this is like another defined feminine. I feel like, oh, I wish I could, I wish I knew what it was. Because I felt her frustration, like, well, where is it already? Where is everything? Where's the abundance? Where's this? Where's that? You know, because it's like you feel like it's going to come with um, the business. That's what we've been channeling. We've been channeling that. There's going to be everything, like the fire hose coming in at once, that it could be a love interest coming with the offer, like the architect's son falling in love with the architect lady that submitted her her drawings and stuff. You know, so I feel like some of you divine feminines are like thinking that certain way and I and I picked up on it and I was like, ooh, that sounds awkward. <laughs> awkward for you no but seriously i it's emasculating i couldn't do that i couldn't oh 
I will be so pr I'm Howard Rourke. I am Howard Rourke. I will go to Dominique Francon's fucking mansion and put in her new fireplace, put in the granite, and fucking walk out with my fucking pride, you know, like my... Good day. You know, so it's like weird rant. I wonder if that's going to resonate for someone. Anyway, very queen of pentacles, having her own coin. I make my own value. I want my own money. I want, I, you know, I'm a screenwriter. I write, I make money out of thin air. Okay. It's like my, I need my ego intact. I need my own, my own thing. And it has nothing to do with your thing. And that's like a very important indication to make. And that's really this right here. That's really that. That's, he loves that. The other counterpart loves that about this individual independent female is that it's not even about let's say you don't have any zero pentacles whatsoever let's say you you hit rock bottom and you learn you had an awakening and you just are starting let's say you're starting from zero and you have a wonderful business idea and all you have are like kitchen napkins of your business plan written out okay that is still so much more respectable to this counterpart, to the king of pentacles, to the king of pentacles, okay? Because it's not about that external, you know, anyone can go get a credit card and go rack shit up on it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's something else that is inspiring him to be attracted to you. Like I said, he's a moth to a motherfucking flame. And the way you burn is the way you burn. You're a slow, slow burn, okay? Smolder. That's what I just saw, smolder. You smolder and he's just... Okay. Very nice energy. Oh, that's right. Nine of Cups. Everything you ever wanted everything he ever wanted you complete each other you're each other's like wish come true okay completely look at how happy this man is <laughs> he's sitting there completely self-satisfied like yeah i have all these cups behind me mm-hmm oh i feel so good okay he's wearing a very distinctive little hat complete wish fulfillment she brings the last the last thing to make his life complete and he brings the last thing to make her life complete they're counterparts the best friends they inspire each other it's not just one way it's both ways the inspiration that star card they inspire each other they feed off of each other and they're never depleted of energy. Ooh, mm. Five of cups. Y'all are lucky there's two cups left over. Y'all are motherfucking lucky. Okay. Okay. You see these two cups? You can look at the three cups over spilled milk or you can look at the two. You can be this sad grouch ass looking at these three spilled cups or you can be, you know, looking at the two. It's perspective. You look at this card, you tell me what you see. Do you see the three cups spilled over or do you see the two? You tell me. You tell me. Is our masculine ready to start looking at the two cups or is he still looking at the three spilled ones? Could be feminine too. Could be either or. Take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. Time. Lost time. Lost. Not enough time? Hold on. Give me a second here. I need to hydrate myself. It's time. 
it's time. That's what it is. There's a connection between these two cards. It's time for what? To come forward? <laughs> Look what came out. Temperance and the Hanged Man. This, if this is not enlightenment, I don't know what is. Okay. Take a look at this. Hold on. Okay. So the hanged man is suspended decisions. Okay. Things are just halted. Totally, literally suspended. But it's also enlightenment. It's conquering certain things on the material plane. And then ascending. And then kind of going into the 5D. Temperance is patience. It's balance. It's chemistry. Hmm. So what's it going to be? Ooh, look at this imagery, though. Look at behind his head how the light is shining. And then look at the top of this mountain right here in the back of Temperance and how it's they're both shining the same. And even her, the angel head. See that? Enlightenment and awakening. Balance. You bring each other, you bring the other person peace, balance, and unbalance. He's having, they're having a hard time balancing you because they don't understand any of this. You guys are already united on the 5D and he the feminines are way ahead of the Divine Masculine. Ooh, I hope he's not running out of time. Like I said, these eclipse seasons, he's um, from January, February to about June, July. Criti this is a critical time. It's like, yeah, it's like a portal of time. Like of, um, I mean, time spirals. So it's not like A to B. It's like there's a little portal, a little special secret pocket portal opening. But it's an energetic portal. It's not a time portal. It's, it's a portal of energy happening now between January and July. There's an energetic opening. That's what it is. Holy shit. Oh, so weird. Sorry. I saw it. And it freaked me out. I'm <laughs> sorry. I've never seen something like that before. Remember in Donnie Darko how um, there were those... It's like that. There's an, an, a portal of energy that was that was open between you and this other person. If you know this person from the past, or if you think this is like a karmic or something, God, I hope this has been plugged in. Um, it got bigger or stronger or more significant. And if you don't know this person, or you haven't met them yet, because I'm getting that you haven't had sex yet. That's what I'm getting. Take it as it resonates. This won't resonate for everybody. But it's like if you don't know them or you just met them or something or they're the Starbucks girl that you see every day, whatever. It's something between you two has opened. And it's strong. It's a very, and it's a very, wow. That's the portal. And it's like a floodgate to him, the Divine Masculine. Remember, because he was just like pushing, he was just fucking himself up for his entire life. <laughs> I hate to say it like that. I really do. But it's the truth. And now that he sees you, 
this is totally love changing a man. This is totally that narrative, okay? He's, it's like love woke him up. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the fucking Beast, okay? Never been a love like this before? Oh my god, that's so true. So remember how she's like, this is going back to the balance. You give him peace and calm and you rile him up. Because all these intimate readings that we've been doing, all of like the sexy intimate readings. Let's just, me, let me just pull one for this example. Because I just saw it. I'm going to watch that movie again. I always say that about movies though. And I don't have time. Come on. <laughs> Fucking knew it. Oh my god. <sighs> Look what came out, guys. Okay. Look what fucking came out. We have the Ace of Swords, a fucking decision, a major decision, a definitive decision, and we have the Queen of Wands. Ooh, well, that's right. Mm, Hardworking queen. The very single woman-ish. I mean, she's a queen, so she's got a counterpart, but she's what I used to call like the middle class queen. She's a mover and a shaker. She's charismatic, okay? She's she's Perfect for my example. See, I knew I was going to get some cards that were going to feed into this, what I had to say next. So, he, see how he's watching her take off her fucking boot? He's like, what the fuck? Oh, she's taking off her boot. Oh my god, I want to lick it. Okay, he's just consumed by watching you take off your boot because it's you taking off your boot in a way that is supremely seductive. To him, moth to a flame, moth to a flame. Okay, the way she is, the way she moves through the world, what she says, what she does, she has no fear. She has no fear of going up to the impresario, she has no fear of going up to the king, the billionaire, the, the ruler. She has no fear of talking to anyone. She knows that she's just as, she has her own power with her. And the power, the, self, the self-possessed the self power and the authenticity that she carries with her as she moves through the world is what he's just like, oh God. And it makes, and it brings us to this next card, okay? Look at now, he, look at him now in the Ace of Swords card. He's like, please take me. Please fucking just ride me like Lady Godiva. Look at him. He's like, I give up. Surrender. Take me now. Okay, and you know what, everybody? That's another thing, too. I don't know. Ladies, you have to think about this. Is he really ready for you to sit on it and write it? Because, you know, I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just... Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I need to look at a guy and I need to see... I need to, in my mind, I need to just think about it. Like, are you ready for me to sit on it? Are you ready for me to ride you? Do you, you really think you know what to do with me? You really think you know, you think you're ready for me to sit on it, huh? Are you sure? You, are you sure you can handle it? Are you sure you're ready to surrender to me and bring ecstasy to your doorstep? Are you, I, mm, I, sure, you might know that you want it, but are you, can you handle it? Like, it's like a whole thing, right? I love that I'm wearing my little first date dress too. So, so this is the beast part. This is the beast that we, ch mm, okay. The beast is like looking at you like, I want her so bad. I want to touch her and eat her and bite her and just like devour her, devour her. And he wants to surrender to you as well. And that's what's fucking him up right now. He wants to dominate you and claim you. And he wants you to dominate him and claim him. And it is tweaking him the fuck out. He does not know what to make of it. He's like, uh, uh, you know, he's just, <laughs> good girl, you got him crazy. And like, of course we do. Because we're watch Natalie people and we are just very high vibrational. So what do you think we're bringing to the bedroom? Yeah. 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 Okay, if we're the high priestess, we're empress, we are just like high vibrational evolved feminines. What do you think you can expect? 
behind closed doors. It's the the lady in the streets and the freak in the sheets type vibe. Okay. And it's just like in the movie how how she how he's like it's time to eat dinner and she's like well I'm not fucking hungry I'm gonna stay in my little room and like powder my nose or like do whatever do my tarot cards drink out of my stein but I'm not ready for like hard food yet I think I want some cookies first and he's like rah, rah, la, 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 rah, rah. and he's like worrying about it like what the fuck like any other girl would have been okay 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 you want to eat right now okay let's eat right now i'm not fucking hungry but i'm gonna fucking eat for you because it's you want to eat right now and i want to please you and make you and then and she and she's like i'll eat when i'm hungry i'm not hungry yet and then when i'm hungry maybe you'll eat with me Okay, that's what's fucking him up too. He's just, number one, remember in this deck, in this deck we got, we got the harp player a lot. I forgot what, which one it was, but it was the one where he's like trying to play the harp, but he's looking at her on the bed and she's just like, ah, 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 you know, and he's just, and there's that crone in the background just watching them super hatefully. I remember I told you he's like the biggest heart player in the whole world, in the whole village, whatever, whatever. And he's looking at you, waiting on you. Okay. I'm happy I said I foreshadowed this card coming up when I said, Are you are you are you ready to for me to sit on it? I don't think you are. Look at her. Look at him. Do you think he's ready for her to sit on it? Does he look ready? He looks like he's getting ready. He's like, oh, yes, please, yes. <laughs> but is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Sorry, guys, I'm an actor. I can say is he a million different times for, like, the next hour. Is he? But seriously. Because <laughs> he thinks he is. But then he, he's not coming forward. Is he? Mm. For some of you, he is. You know, we got that wonderful pop of the marriage proposal and, you know. But then yesterday, we picked him up double dutching, double dutching the fuck out. So, maybe he's not ready for you to sit on it and ride it. Maybe you blowing his mind is just too much for him right now. We need bravery. We need courage. We need confidence. Ooh, I hate when you can tell I'm from Chicago. <laughs> he's obsessed, though. Honestly, he's just going to be, he's just going to lurk. He's going to lurk, 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 keep lurking at you. And you're just, you, you ladies, the Divine Feminines, you have no other choice but to keep living your best life like Sydney Green Street. You have no other choice but to keep being happy and shining bright. And you know what? There's lots of moths, okay? There's lots of moths. I know you want your soul. But remember, there's like the surprise. On your end, the divine feminine side, rather, it's the surprise. On the masculine end, on your end, it's how am I going to fucking get in? How am I going to get it in? How am I going to get it in not lose my balance? Because look at what he's trying to do he's suspended trying to get his balance he's trying to get his shit together he doesn't understand that you can bring him peace and also rile him up he doesn't get that he's like okay he doesn't get it and he doesn't he doesn't trust it he's got to just like trust trust in the universe trust in you you know he doesn't he doesn't have the trust yet and it's because I mean, I'm. The, we know already the past that you know people hurt him, people betrayed him, people took advantage of him. Mom issues, dad issues, whatever issues. So he's still like trying to make sense of it, but mm, he's still seriously trying to like figure out his way in. And you know what? Just really quick, this might help someone out there, whether you are a masculine or a feminine. If you're the one looking to approach someone. I thought about how I would do it. I've always thought about how I would do it if I were a dude. Because growing up, like, in, remember, I was always, like, 
chronic marginalization, that psychopathic thing, always like the new cute, new kid in town, blah, blah, blah. Girls always like me. There's always been like a couple girls that were just like, you know, right? So I, I, I would think about, I'm like, man, if I were a dude though, like what would I do? How would I like go approach a girl, right? And okay, here's what I came up with in case this helps anyone out there. If you don't know obvious things about them, like what they enjoy or what they don't enjoy, for me, for instance, I'm so hard because I don't like the sun, I don't like the beach, I don't like big crowds, I don't like being in public. I know that one time this guy took me on a date to a fucking beach and I was like... <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm such a brat. See, someone will see through all of that, though, and they will just... Oh, no, not Siri. Why did Siri activate when I said I'm such a brat? How weird. So, you know, they won't, they won't see me being like, oh, queen of pentacles and super resting bitch face Capricorn chick. They'll be like... Natalie, here's the keys to your new Beamer. I towed away the old one. Fucking just sit down. And I'll be like. You know, but then I'll be driving like a safer car. You know, it'll be something like that. But if they don't, if you don't know what they like or definitely don't like, you know, you don't, you can't do things like, well, let's go skydiving. You know, that could blow up in your face. So what I thought, what I, what I would do if I were a dude is I would share something of myself with this other person to get to know me better and try to, try to get to know them. I mean, it's about the dating, the courtship. It's about each other. It's about learning about each other. You know, it's about, you know, it's not, I wouldn't lead with materialism. I wouldn't lead with, you know... I would lead with yourself. I would lead with yourself. I'm so boring. I just want to watch a movie. <laughs> just funny because a guy was like, but Natalie, we don't talk to each other. <laughs> you don't talk to each other at a movie, you know? <laughs> we talk about the movie afterwards. Ooh, cocktails. Ooh, I want a Bloody Mary. <laughs> but... You know, so it's just, I, I really think it's about individualism and creativity. Like, how are you going to take something inside of you and externalize it creatively to show and share with the other person? It's going to be different for everybody, and that's, like, the fun part. You know, it's not, let me go spend a lot of money. Let me go take you to the most elite place. Let me, what's that? Um, I can't think of it. It's totally gone. But, but that's where I would start, everybody. I would start there but in this situation it's almost like I can't really pick up whether he's going to lead with this business offer or if he's going to lead with the romance and then do the business see it's really hard it's really hard he's never mixed the two before he's never done that he does not do that he compartmentalizes so now he's like uh, you know everything's got him fucked up ladies if it's ladies that I'm talking to right now, seriously. He's, he's still like, and remember masculines take longer. So just give him some time. Keep shining bright. He's got to close this out. Like I said, I'm going to say it every time. We're in the last lunar cycle before the eclipses. So you will know where you stand with this. Whoever you're thinking of in your mind, you will know where you stand with them. Come July. Come the July eclipses, you will know where you stand. You will know where you stand with yourself, your singlehood. You will know where you stand with your guy, with this guy. It could be a whole different guy. It could be a whole different person than you originally thought. There, remember, there's that element of surprise with this whole thing. So keep that in mind. I don't think you're, I still think you're not going to see it coming. But, you know what? I do have some concerns. Do you guys remember Marion Davies? William Randolph Hearst? Rosebud. 
think it'd be fun to run a newspaper. So he took her in, right? And, you know, did that whole thing. But then he lost his money. And she was wise with her money and invested it, like, according, you know, she talked with his investors and, you know, she was smart with it. And he ended up leaning on her. She ended up helping him financially. William Randolph fucking Hearst. I wrote a script. Of, okay, I, I know this. I know this. I got the inside track on this. Oh, I wish I could tell you more, but it's in the script and I can't. Remember I told you keeping secrets is the great thrill of my life? But seriously, that came back to him and it was it was just really smart. He had his his number, you know, like the, mm, he had that girl, he had that woman that was going to hold it down. So, my concern is when you do business before you marry, it's one thing. When you marry and then do business afterwards, it's another different thing, okay? Like legally with legal corporate entities being set up. Okay, do you see where I'm kind of going with? If you're a Capricorn, if you're materially, you know, if you're realistic, being realistic, you know what I'm thinking of. He's thinking of it too, which this could come up kind of like that. Him getting away with something. He could come in, marry you, and then everything that you create, because look at what are we going to do? We're going to multiply the wealth. We're going to create pentacles out of thin air. It will be under you too, and it will not be under your... You know what I'm saying? So every you have to really look into the laws of your state. You have to like make sure you're not thinking with your vagina. Oof. Oof. God, don't we all get into the trap? It's not a trap. That's a mean thing to say. But it's like... It's just something to consider. And I'm just telling both of you that for everyone's best interest. Okay? Because obviously, if this is the love of the lifetime, the holy grail of relationships, and it doesn't matter if you get married and then what you incorporate as a married couple is shared even, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if it's obviously going to be forever. And see, that's an ego thing too. You can't get too caught up in the ego thing. I mean, I'm saying that, but obviously I need to take my own advice. But think about it. I don't know. I feel like he's suspending. He's going to suspend his decision until he achieves the perfect balance. And you know what? <sighs> Divine masculine, just trust. Ja Ooh. I looked on the bottom. I don't ever do this on camera. But you have to trust me. I just, I said trust. And I looked at the bottom of the deck. And we have the page of pentacles. So that's an, that's an indicator. I heard it. It said, slide me down. I hope it's a good card. Otherwise, I'll feel totally. Oh, see, look at that. The fool. That's our leap of faith right there. Look at the leap of faith. He's going to. It's like you're the faith. Someone here is the leap. Someone is. Someone's taking the leap of faith. Sorry, I play with my cleft sometimes. Someone here, you or the other person, is taking the leap of faith. See, and here's the thing. Like, I, 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 I know he's going to do it. It's like, come on. <laughs> but we have to trust in divine timing. We really do. We have a couple. We have these two as indicators of the divine timing. This is an indicator of divine timing. Certainly, this one is the indicator of divine timing. But I feel like that's definitely both of you too, though. You both. You both. It's you both. Think about it. If someone just offered you their hand in marriage, anyone would have to say, whoa. I'm going to give you all of my best business ideas. And I'm going to give you everything I've got. And my time. My my energy, my focus, my dedication, my commitment. 
whoever has more money, whoever has more connections, whoever has more business acumen, whoever has more, that's not necessarily the only person taking the risk here. Although they are taking the risk and that needs to be acknowledged. But it's both people taking the leap of faith so that they don't end up an old man filled with regret. Who else is going to get my movie references? But you're not alone. Look at the little dog. You are not alone. You're not alone. And you're both going to do it together. So you have some, you, you know, it's like Frodo and Samwise. Don't go where I cannot follow. Okay, I'm done, seriously. But this is a great place to end this reading. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. Tell me if this starts to pop off for some of you. I hope you're feeling good. I'm feeling great. Okay, guys. Keep sending me messages. I love to read them. And I'm going to try to set up something. I am. I think I am going to do... Um, readings maybe like four or five a week i'm also thinking about going live on saturday night on youtube let me know what you guys think about all that below if i do do personal readings like i said it'll be maybe four a week and like the time slots whoever gets those four or five time slots then we're done for that week because i can't do like a bajillion okay let me know what you think about that let me know what you think about date night going live on saturday night i'm thinking maybe 15 minutes I can answer questions or we can just chit chat and then I can go into a live reading. I don't know, what am I doing Saturday night? I only have sex with boyfriends and I don't have my soulmate anywhere in sight. So it's like, <laughs> okay, that's enough to chat. Let me know how it goes, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.